Wexford Senior Camogie Squad opened the 2014 Liberty Insurance Camogie Championship with a trip to Athenry, where they took on reigning champions Galway and led from the off with an Ursula Jacob point. Galway soon struck back with an Emma Kelly point from the left flank. The game continued to be a nip and tuck affair and when Shelley Kyo won the puck out she found Bree Gordon who edged Wexford in front by four points to three with around 17 minutes on the clock. At the other end of the field, after Aoife Callanan had been blocked by Karen Atkinson, Galway regained possession, which culminated in an equalising point for Neve Kilkenny. A long-range free from Theresa Manton ended up with Kilkenny again, who struck the post this time. Aoife Donoghue was impeded as she tried to break through on goal. The subsequent penalty was parried over the bar thanks to a Mags Darcy save. Wexford reasserted their dominance from there till the half's end. A pair of Ursula Jacob pointed frees and this Shelley Kyo point put Wexford ahead by seven points to six at half time. Wexford reopened with a brilliant set piece of play. Ursula Jacob showed terrific vision as she played the ball back to the influential figure Josie Dwyer who pointed. Dwyer deservingly claimed the player of the match award after the game. Galway injected energy into their attacking force at half time in the form of substitute Orla McGrath, a daughter of two-time All-Ireland winning Galway hurler Michael Hopper McGrath. Orla kept Galway in touch with this effort. Even though Galway were persistent in defence, Wexford impressively jinked the ball around and eventually claimed points like this one from Ursula Jacob to put the visitors ahead by two points. That lead of two was made a five-point advantage as Ursula Jacob dropped the ball in from a free and a touch from Fiona Rochford gave Wexford their first goal. After Neve McGrath had pointed for Galway, Katrina Parrick won possession far from her usual corner forward position. She rolled the tackle and found Kay Kelly who then picked out Bree Gordon who pointed. The tour de force of Wexford was proving to be too much for Galway as they led by 110 to 8 points. But then came the Galway fight back. The home side's captain Lorraine Ryan won possession in the half back line and passed the ball on to Noreen Cohen. Cohen found number 23 Brenda Hanney and in rushing super sub Orla McGrath was on hand to finish the ball to Mike Darcy's net. With around 15 minutes remaining, Wexford now led by just a point. Josie Dwyer's second point gave Wexford a narrow two point lead. After Neve McGrath had rounded off her tally of seven place balls, Galway began to hunt for an equaliser. While Shauna Sinnott made a great interception, the home side eventually broke through as full forward Ashley Connolly pointed. With time running out, it was all square at 1-11 apiece. Oh, 
Um, I think we hurled very well for most of the game. We were on top. We, we stayed a point or two ahead for most of the game, and I suppose about halfway through the second half, they maybe get on top of us for 10 minutes there. And uh, when they came back level, they got a chance to get a goal. And I think Mags pulled off a great save, and we went up the field and looked turned to us, and we got a goal and a point. And I think it was very close all the way until that very end point, and uh, it was great to get a bit of luck and come out here with a win. After that, Wexford's captain Kate Kelly grabbed a lucky goal from a free that came from a long way out. Ursula Jacobs' seven point assured Wexford of a 2-12 to 1-11 victory. The penalty and uh, the save at half time, these could have had major impacts on the game. But having a keeper, an excellent keeper like Mag Starcy behind us, um, who made two powerful saves, I feel this drove the team um, on and even made us more determined. Galway set up, you know, they, they packed their defence, they pulled their midfielders back and we, we probably at times in the game struggled with it a little bit. But the physicality is something we spoke about before the game. We expected it and we knew that Galway were always going to bring a big physical presence to the game. But I think we matched them, you know, with the physicality and their gameplay once we got to grips with it. So, uh, you know, the next day we know we're going to have a tough battle uh, against Cork. They're going to be uh, a very physical team. They're going to be very good hurlers. Uh, I suppose there wasn't much uh, between the two teams when we played each other in the league and they were maybe missing a couple of key players and so were we. So I would expect a very physical and tough game the next day. Uh, we probably have uh, things to improve on uh, for our performance in two weeks' time in Wexford versus Cork.